All right, folks, welcome back to Embers Only Barbecue. Today, we're going to be setting up this beautiful Kamado Joe Classic 2 for grilling. So you got different things you can do. You can go with a uh, low temperature smoking. You can go high heat searing. Today, we're going to set up this grill configuration uh, for grilling. So let's take a look at how that happens. So it's all going to start with your charcoal. Now, now we are sponsored by Jealous Devil Charcoal, so so take that for what it's worth. But I found that it's it's phenomenal quality, and you get a lot of different size pieces here, and that's a big thing. So if you're thinking about grilling, I like to save the really big pieces uh, for my long. Uh, 20 hour smokes and I like to use these smaller pieces for grilling because they can ash over quicker and then we can get to searing So first thing we do we have our whole uh, um, Inner grill here cleaned up. We have all the ash from the previous night's cook out and we're gonna just put in uh, Our charcoal to fill this up here All right, so we've got our uh, charcoal basket filled up here. This is an aftermarket charcoal basket that we used. Highly recommended. I think for airflow, very important uh, to get as much air as possible when you're grilling. So we've got our basket loaded up here. I have these little uh, fire starter cubes that I get from our local barbecue spot here. And what we're going to do is triangulate. So this is one thing. You don't want to start just in the middle and put in one. I like to have uh, either three or four spread out. And then we're going to get those lit. And then those fires will converge and get going. So we got three cubes triangulated. We're going to light them all. We're going to leave all vents open and the top open. And then we're going to let this go for about 10 minutes. All right, so all three cubes are lit. Then we're going to lightly cover each of them with a piece of charcoal. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Then we're going to leave the lid open for 10 minutes. Our bottom vent down here is going to be wide open uh, for the first 10 minutes. And then we'll come back and, and check in on how we're doing. A lot of different people start a lot of different ways. Some people go loof lighter, grill gun. Uh, we choose to go this way. You definitely don't want to go match light charcoal or anything like that. This should be lump charcoal uh, as you're going into grill. All right, so we're about 10 to 15 minutes in. Fire's starting nice. We're about to close the lid. But what I like to do while the grill is warming up is I get an inch thick piece of provolone cheese from the, uh, from the deli. I throw some fresh oregano on there in a little cast iron pan. We throw it right in there. And snack number one will be Argentinian style provoleta. So now we're going to close the lid, open the top vent all the way. Bottom vent continues to stay wide open. And now we're going to monitor our temperature until we get to about uh, 350, 400 degrees, and then we're going to start closing vents. All right, so this happened pretty quick. It's only been about three minutes, but we're at 400 degrees and climbing. So we're going to close the top vent and open this all the way here. And then I'm going to close the bottom vent about one third, so we have two thirds air remaining. And then this is all about just sucking in air from down here. It goes through the charcoal and up and out through here. Um, and that's what it's all about. The more vents you open up, the more airflow, the hotter it's going to get. If we were wide open down here and up top, this will easily be a thousand degrees. Uh, but we want to be grilling around 400, 450 degrees here with most of the coals ashed over. And that's what we're going to wait for now. It's just let the, uh, the charcoal do its magic. All right, we've been going for about 10 minutes now. The grill is totally stabilized at 450 degrees. The coals are going nice. We got melting proveleta here. That's going to be absolutely spectacular. I'm going to pull that off. And now we're ready to grill. So grill looks good. Charcoal looks good. You're definitely going to have hot zones. So right now, clearly, uh, you have more heat coming over here than over here. So just move your food around accordingly. Uh, but a grill setup like this, you can grill at this temperature for anywhere from five to seven hours. Easy, no problem. Uh, you can always add more, and then when you're ready to finish, you just close the lid, close both vents up top and down below, and then over the course of a few hours, the heat will go down. But that's it. That's how you set up the Kamado Joe for grilling. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit subscribe and check out our other videos. Thank you.